Magandang araw mga classmate. Ang pag-uusapan natin sa araw na ito ay ang tinatawag na scientific notation. Ano nga ba ang scientific notation? So these are numbers expressed in the form of a times 10 raised to n where a is a decimal number with a value of greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. Okay, so bigyan natin ng halimbawa. So, gamitin natin halimbawa yung distance ng Earth sa Sun. According sa mga scientists, ang distance daw ng Earth sa Sun is 93 million miles. Or in scientific notation, this can be written as 9.3 times 10 raised to 7. So, ito yung uh, distansya ng Earth at ng Sun. So, if you will notice, merong mga part ng ating uh, scientific notation na tinatawag na decimal numbers. So, itong 9.3 ay decimal numbers. Na sa pagitan ng 1 to 10, including yung 1. And then, itong 7, so ito yung ating tinatawag na uh, integer exponent. So, when we say integer exponent, so, pwedeng itong maging positive, pwede rin maging negative. Okay? So, question. Paano naging uh, 9.3 times 10 raised to 7 si 93 million miles? Okay. So, let's try to answer several uh, example how to change decimal notation to scientific notation. So, let's say we have 656,000. So, paano natin siya isusulat into scientific notation? So, sabi, uh, first, we have to place the decimal point after the first non-zero digit. So, dapat si decimal point ay makarating dito kasi 6 is our first non-zero digit. Okay. So, rewrite natin. So, we have 6 point. Nandito na siya kanina. And then, we have tatlong zero. And then, count the number of places the decimal point is moved and use that as the number of the number of exponent. So, paano tayo nagkaroon ng decimal point dito? So, we all know that kapag whole numbers, uh, meron siyang decimal uh, point right after nung huling uh, whole number. So, let's say we have 8. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang decimal point dito. Pero, commonly, hindi na natin siya nilalagay. So, same with 656,000. So, ang kanyang decimal point ay nanggaling dito. So, hindi rin natin siya nilalagay. So, pwede siyang i-move. So, nung na-move natin siya, bilangin natin kung ilang beses. So, 1... 2, 3, 4, 5 times siya bago siya nakarating dun sa uh, position niya which is between 6 and 5 or right after ng ating uh, first whole number. So in this case, uh, pwede na nating uh, isulat 656,000 as 6.56. So hindi na natin isasama yung mga 0. And then, multiply it by 10. And then, ang exponent niya, kung ilang beses natin siya na move So, sabi, we move the decimal point 5 times. So, meaning to say, yung ating uh, 656,000 kanina in scientific notation can be written as 6.56 times 10 raised to 5. Okay. So, let's have another example. Okay, so let's say we have this time 810 or 81,000. Okay, so katulad nung ginawa natin, so we have to move the uh, decimal point na nasa kanan makarating dun sa right after the first uh, whole number. So 1, 
2, 3, 4. So, ibig sabihin na uh, 4 times natin na i-move yung decimal point. So, we now have 8.1. So, hindi na natin isasama yung 0 times 10. So, ang magiging exponent niya ay 4. Kasi 4 times natin na i-move. So, ibig sabihin, 81,000 in scientific notation is 8.1 times 10 raised to 4. Okay. So, what if this time... Uh, ang given naman natin is uh, number between uh, 0 and 1. So, let's say we have uh, 0.00052. So, unlike uh, the first two example, uh, ang given natin sa unang dalawa ay whole number. So, this time, ang given ay decimal number. So, kung mapapansin, yung decimal point ay nasa left side. So, ang rule natin dapat makarating si uh, decimal point dun sa unang uh, whole number or positive whole number. So, ibig sabihin, we have to move this decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. Kasi dapat ang magiging value ng ating A ay numbers between 1 to 10. So, we now have 5.2 times 10. So, ilang beses natin siyang na-move? 5. But this time, nag-move tayo ng decimal from left to right. So, instead na positive, ang magiging uh, sign ng ating exponent ay negative. So, 0.000052 is equivalent in scientific notation or can be written in scientific notation as 5.2 times 10 raised to negative 5. Okay, so ganun lang kadali mga classmate. So tandaan lang natin kung saan imumove si decimal point. So kung galing tayong kaliwa, papunta sa kanan, so ang, ang magiging exponent natin ay negative. Kung galing tayo sa kanan, papunta sa kaliwa, ang magiging exponent natin ay positive. So, what if this time, kabaliktaran naman, given ang scientific notation, paano naman natin siya isusulat in standard form? So, ganun lang uli. So, dahil this time we have 5.9 times 10 raised to 7. So, sabi natin, kapag positive ang exponent, kanina, we have to move from left, from right to left. So this time, manggagaling tayo sa left papunta sa right kapag positive ang exponent. So we now have uh, 5.9. So move natin siya from left to right ng 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. So 5.9 times 10 raised to 7 is equivalent to 59 million Okay, so isa pa. So we now have 8 times 10 raised to 5. So we now have 8. So knowing na ang ating decimal point ay makikita right after nito, uh, we can now move this decimal point 5 times. So 1 2 3 4 5. So, 8 times 10 raised to 5 is equivalent to 800,000. Okay. So, what if this time ang ating exponent ay negative? So, we can now uh, use the same concept but this time So, dahil negative, so manggagaling ang movement ng ating decimal from uh, right papunta naman sa left. So, ang uh, integer o the absolute value ng ating integer ang magsasabi kung ilang beses natin imumove yung ating decimal point. So, we have uh, 5.5. So, dahil negative, so we, we're going to move the decimal point from right papunta naman sa left. So, we have 
3. And then place the decimal point. So we now have 0 0.0055, which is also equal sa 5.5 times 10 raised to negative 3. Okay, so let's proceed with our last example. So we now have 6.3 times 10 raised to negative 5. Again, we have 6.3. So let's move the uh, decimal point 5 times. Papunta sa kaliwa. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So meaning to say, 6.3 times 10 raised to negative 5 is equivalent to 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 3. Okay. So that's it. I hope you learn a lot with today's lesson. And uh, don't forget to share and subscribe sa ating page para updated kayo sa mga bagong lesson na pag-aaralan natin. Until next time.